When I first learned Git, no one taught me how to fix mistakes. At my company, we just used git add, commit, and push, and as long as you did those right, you were golden. But what about when those things went wrong? Like when we added debug code that sent us in the wrong direction or committed something that we shouldn't have? That's when I realized I needed more than just the basics. In this video, I'll show you the difference between git reset, git revert, and git rebase, and how knowing these commands can actually give you confidence in your code development, because if you make any mistakes, you can undo them cleanly. Before we get started, if you've been watching my channel, you'll notice that this setup is an entirely different new setup, and it's because I was kicked out of my office by one of my kids. So we're going to try this setup today. All right, so here's a repository called git mistakes, and it's a repository with just two files, the .gitignore and then a main.c file, and the main.c is just a hello world program. And in this program, we're going to add some mistakes to it, and then we're going to undo those mistakes with some git commands. So let's go head over to our Visual Studio code. And I'm going to add some implementation to ask the user what their favorite color is. Okay, so here's the code that I wrote to ask the user for their favorite color. And if there's an issue here, if there's a bug here that I found or a mistake that I found before committing, then I can just make the adjustments here and then commit it. But say I do make the commit. So let's, there's actually a bug here, but let's say that we commit this bug. So let's go to terminal. Okay, so I've made this commit locally. Now let's go ahead and test it to see what happens. Okay, what's your favorite color? I say blue. And then there's a bug here where for some reason there's going there's an, an unexpected end of line character here. And probably what's going on is when I do this f get s f gets, um, I'm also reading in the end of line character over here, and then I'm displaying it over here. So there's a bug here and I've committed the bug. So what do I do now? I can actually use git reset to fix the commit. So the main idea behind git reset is you're going to move the branch pointer. And what I mean by branch pointer is if you look at the log here, you'll see that we have three commits, one for adding the hello world program, one for adding the git ignore file, and then one that I just did. This is the commit that we messed up on. And what we're going to do is we're going to use git reset to make the git demo this git demo branch to point to this commit instead of this commit. So the way we do that is we do a git reset, then we do head, and then we do tilde one. And what this does is it will make the git demo, our, our local version of this branch, is going to point to this commit instead. So once we do this, and then we do git log again. Okay, see, now we're pointing at this 2bc3 commit. So you see here, we, we move the branch pointer to not point to this uh, commit anymore. Now we moved it one and that's what this one is for. So what we're doing here is we're referencing the commit one commit before head. And so one commit before head is this one head was pointing to this commit. And then we want to do one before that commit. So that's the 2BC commit. Then if you scroll, scroll down here and now we, when we do this git reset and we do that commit, now we're pointing at the 2bc3fd4 commit. So now we're able to undo this commit. So this commit is no longer in our commit history, but you'll notice here in the IDE that our changes are still here. So that's what's nice about the git reset. If you just do a git reset, you can still keep your changes, but you're just going to point the, the branch pointer to the commit before. So, so we're basically pointing it to the original commit ID that we had before. Now, if you do a git status here, you'll notice that it says modified main.c. And so it's it's almost as if we didn't do any staging yet and we didn't do any commit yet. So if we want to go back to where we were earlier, where we made that mistake, we just have to add this main.c file again and then do the commit. So we do git add main.c, and then we go back and use that commit again. Now we do git log dash dash one line. So now we're here again with a commit here that has a mistake in it. All right, before we go on to git revert, I want to show you a special option with git reset, and I use this command all the time. So git reset dash dash hard. So this option is very useful when you want to just go back to this commit and just undo all the changes that you've made. So if we do a git reset dash dash hard, then we're going to revert our even our file. So we're not going to have this buggy version of our of our code anymore. We're just going to revert back to what it was originally when it was at this commit. So if you do a git 
reset dash dash hard and do head tilde one and then we do a git log and then now we're back at this commit where we were before and you can see our code is back to where it was and so all those the buggy the the mistakes that i made that buggy code that i wrote earlier it's not here anymore i use this git reset dash dash hard option a lot because i want to bring my code base to a fresh working state so i'll go ahead and use this command all right, so I'm bringing this commit back. Now I'm going to explain to you how to use git revert. So git revert is what you would use if you accidentally pushed your mistake to the remote repository. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing going to do a git push. So I'm going to do a git push origin git demo. Now if we go to git demo in our remote repository, you can see that the buggy code is here. So we have this buggy code, but we want to fix it. So what we can do to fix it, we would ideally use git revert to fix it, especially if git demo has been merged with the main branch or if someone else is using git demo. We don't want to make a change to the history of the git commits with using git reset. So if you've pushed a commit to the remote repository and other people are using this branch, maybe someone has merged this to the main branch or maybe someone has branched off of your git demo. But you want to undo this bug here. You don't want to change your history because if you change your history, what I mean by history is your commit history. If you change your commit history, it's going to screw up everybody else because they have your commit history already. So what you want to do is you want to undo this change by using git revert. Now I want to undo this commit. So what I do is do a git revert and then head. And then you can see here. So what I'm doing now is I'm creating a new commit with this commit message, revert ask user for fave color. This is a terminal-based code editor called VI, and if you don't have any experience on that, then it's okay. You can watch my other videos on that, but basically we're just going to write and quit here. Okay, now we do a git log dash dash one line, and then you can see here we created a new commit that reverts this commit. So it says revert ask user for fave color, and it's going to revert that. And if you look at our code here, now we're back to where we were originally. So we've reverted that buggy code. All right, so here's the proper code for asking the user for their favorite color. So what we have to do in addition to what we had earlier was we need just we just need to remove the end of the end of line character here and replace it with the end of string character. We need this header file here because we're going to use this function here. We're going to remove the new line character and replace it with end of line end of string character so let's go ahead and run this blue and then there you go so now the end of line character is no longer there and we fixed our bug so now we can go ahead and commit this so let's do a git status and then let's do git add main.c and then do a git commit then we can push this okay we push this to the remote repository Okay, let's refresh this one. Okay, so there you go. So now we have our fixed code. We have this. This we don't have, really we don't have the buggy version of this uh, this code anymore. So we have the add git ignore. We have ask user for favorite color, and then we have a commit here that reverts this commit, and then we have the correct the correct code over here. So that's what git revert does. It just creates a new commit here that undoes one of the mistakes you've made in another commit. And like I mentioned earlier, we want to do this so that we don't touch the history. We don't want to mess with the history here. All of this, all of these commits, we don't want to mess with the history because other people might be using that history. So if we just remove this from the commit history, it might screw up someone else's branch. So we just create a new commit that goes on top of all of these commits and it just undoes the the buggy code that we had that we added in this commit so it undoes our mistake in that commit if we didn't push this commit to the remote repository we could have gotten away with using the git reset because with the git reset we can change the history and we're okay with changing the history the commit history because we know for a fact that no one has had that history in their branch and so we can safely use git reset but once you push it to the remote repository then there might be a chance that someone is using your commit history and you don't want to change hit the commit history after that but if you know for sure that no one has ever used your branch then you can you might be able to get away with using the git reset and then you, you would have to do a git push force to rewrite the history of 
of your branch. If you want a more in-depth video on that, feel free to let me know in the comments section and I'll make a more in-depth video on how you can use Git Reset to change the history of your commit history in one of your branches. All right, lastly, I want to go over Git Rebase. And what Git Rebase does is it just rebases your commit history on top of another branch. And so that's not really about making mistakes. It's more about, or rather, it's not about fixing mistakes. It's more about um, merging your branch with someone else's branch or usually with the main branch. So if you go over to the main branch here, you can see that the main branch is also asking for the name of the user. And so we don't have this code in our branch yet. So this is when we would use git rebase because we want to pick up these changes and bring it in our branch. So what we're going to do is we're going to rebase our branch to this commit here. So look at these commit IDs here. There's 8B commit and then there's a 2E commit. And then if you go over to our git demo branch, we have the 8B commit, but we don't have the 2E commit. We don't have that ask for the user for their name commit. So we want to rebase all of these changes on top of the ask for username. So let's go ahead and do that in our terminal. Okay, let's do a git status just to see where we're at. Okay, we're on branch git demo. So we need to do a git pull to make sure we have the latest main. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the main branch. Okay, so you see our uh, IDE changed a little bit. We, now we have the enter your name. So now we know that our main branch is up to date. We can also do a git log dash dash one line. And then we can see that the 2e commit is here. So that means we have the latest version of the, the main branch. Let's go back to our git demo. And you can see here we're back. Now it has what's your favorite color. Now we're going to rebase off of that main branch. So we're going to do a git re rebase and then main. Okay, so we have a merge conflict in main.c, probably because we've modified the same lines of code. So now Git doesn't know how to resolve those conflicts. So what we do is we can go back here. We can see we can see where Git is confused. So here's the current change. Uh, this is from the main branch, and then this is our change. So this is from our branch. So basically, we just want to take the changes from the main branch and then we have to take some changes from our branch okay so i think that's good enough so we have hello world asks for your name and then it says their name so it says here resolve all the conflicts manually mark them as resolved with the git add so we have to do a git add so let's go ahead and add main.c which is we which is what we just resolved and then now we have to do a git rebase continue because it's not done yet. It's not done rebasing all of our commits yet. We still don't see that commit where we fixed the bug. So let's go ahead, hit git rebase dash dash continue. Okay, there you go. So now I've successfully rebased and updated. So now if you look at the git, com, uh, the git history, git log dash dash one line. All right, so there you go. So now we have the hello world program commit. We have the 2e commit that asks for the name. And then all of our commits that we had earlier. So we had the add, the git, the git ignore. We had the ask user for favorite color. We had the revert commit. And we also had the add correct favorite color prompt. So now our code actually has the same code from main, but we also have um, our, our own code. So this is from our branch. And then this is what we took from the main branch. All right, so there you go. I showed you how to do a git reset, and then I showed you how to do git revert, and then git rebase. And just to summarize, the git reset is more so if you haven't if you haven't pushed your changes yet to the remote repository, then you have some freedom to move the branch pointer around and maybe even undo the commit and then create a new commit. But say you pushed your change to the remote repository, then you've made a mistake. That, that one's a more a bigger mistake because now it's part of the actual remote repository so now you have to revert that mistake using git revert so then you would use git revert to revert that mistake um, sometimes actually in my company we don't really use git revert we would just create a fix for that bug and then have a new commit that fixes the bug and then lastly i showed you the git rebase which just re it just rebases your your branch on top of another branch. And so I like doing that a lot when I'm working with my uh, t with my team. 
and so rebase just makes the commit history more easy to follow. Before you go, if Git still feels a bit overwhelming, I created a totally free resource called my Git Started Guide. It's a step-by-step -step PDF with videos that I've made that will really help you get Git into your workflow. You can download it below and keep building your confidence with Git. All right, there you go. That's the difference between Git Reset, Git Revert, and Git Rebase. Now, I do have another tutorial on Git Rebase, so you can watch that here. And there I show you a tutorial on how to merge your branches with either Git Merge or Git Rebase. So you check it out in this video.